Hello friends! This video is dedicated to beginners in programming and uh, to regular users of ChatGPT uh, without a programming experience. So let's imagine you're using ChatGPT to generate images and you generated lots of images in one day and you can't do this anymore because your quota is gone. For example, recently I was generating images and uh, assets for my video game and I faced the same issue. So how you actually can continue generating? First, we need to understand that under the hood it uses DALI 2 or 3 and you can continue using it with OpenAI API. In this particular tutorial I will explain how to use a JavaScript version of this API and uh, still it will be the same thing as in ChatGPT, but you will do some scripting and r will run it in, on your machine. So we will start from installing Node.js, so it's like first prerequisite. Please go to the official site of Node.js and install it for your platform. So I will add all the links in the description. After you edit it, um, in the terminal you can type node-v and you should see some version of Node.js installed. So the next prerequisite will be some text editor. Um, actually here I provide a link to VS Code because it's the most popular uh, text editor right now. I'm using WebStorm uh, in my professional workflow but again if you're a beginner I think it's the best option for you. Please download it and install it for your platform. Um, next when you did it open the WebStorm, oh, sorry, VS Code, and uh, we need to open the folder. So I created empty folder and I called it OpenAI Image Generations. You can call it whatever you want. So it's just empty folder. I will open it with the VS Code and I will create new terminal here. So what we need to do, we need to initialize new Node.js project. To do this, I will use this command npm init-y. It will create for us a um, small file which is named package.json and this is representation of our application. So for now that's it, let's proceed with the next steps. So next step is actually OpenAI node API. To install it we should use npm inside our project. So here in the terminal I will paste here npm install openai. And we have uh, openai in our dependencies. That means we can use it inside our code. So let's create the main.js file. It will be the only file we will use, our entry point and uh, the whole of our application. So how we actually can use it. So to do this we need to open the uh, API documentation of OpenAI. So again, all the links will be in the description. So I'm opening this and you should register or sign in somehow in your dashboard in the OpenAI uh, documentation page. So here, the next thing we need to do, actually API key, because uh, without API key, you cannot use the API. So I will click create API key and uh, I will actually revoke it after I create this video because I expose this code to everyone uh, but you should not. So this code should be stored somewhere uh, and uh, you should not show it uh, to anyone and you should not push the code, push your code with this uh, key into some repository. So I uh, actually added to the clipboard the new test key. So the next thing would be to understand how to actually use it. So I go to documentation and here I want to find image generation. And uh, by the first chunk of code we see that how we can generate image using Node.js. But as we can see here um, it's actually not the full code and I'm not sure why OpenAI 
doesn't provide correct snippet here and uh, let's see in the npm page here we have uh, a bit more so let's copy actually from the npm library like this and uh, here in the main we can use our api but there is another trick if i use like this let's see what happens if i run it so to run to run it you should write node and then name of your file and we can see here that uh, okay this is the first problem and it's really simple to fix cannot use import statement outside of a module so what you need to do write oops not like this type module now we can use ES modules in our main.js but it's not the only problem and we can see that OpenAI create image is not a function that means OpenAI provides us with the incorrect API in the documentation and it's a bit like inconvenient so we can google this and we will find that someone actually provide provides us with the correct API openai images.generate so this would be working for us and uh, the only thing we need to put here the actual API key again I added it I added it to the clipboard and uh, all of you can see it but again your code should be stored somewhere in the hidden place. So now let's try to execute this. So we see the terminal window is a bit stuck and uh, we should wait until it's done. Okay, now we have the link and uh, we can actually open this link in the browser and we see that our image is here. The last thing I want to mention that in your dashboard of OpenAI you have a usage tab and here you can see how much money you will spend on uh, your API requests. So it's always important to check um, actually how much budget you have and what bills you should pay. So you, you always should uh, check this page after session of generations. So I guess that's it. Uh, that's uh, everything that I wanted to cover. Now you understand how you can easily generate images using OpenAI API. Thank you.